What's up with that? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe team at the day. And welcome back to the landing strip, man. If this is your first time over here in the landing, McFly, welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell below to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on, you know. Yeah, straight like that. Everything in the description below, man. Just go down there, like the video, leave a comment, you know, read the description. Do all that stuff, man. I appreciate it. Who has the heat season eight will be returning real soon, man. So we can go ahead and get that popping and continue our reign as the premier sneaker battle show of all the YouTube. I don't care what you say. It is what it is. We run this. Um, yeah. So <laughs> we're in the cockpit. I got a shoe to show you. Let's get into it. Y'all know I don't do hype beast things like that. But I don't know if this is considered hype beast or whatever, but due to the name attachment, it is what it is. But today we're gonna be reviewing the Blickup the Travis Scott Nike Trainer Ones, man, in that gray haze colorway. Or was it gray fall? I think it was gray haze. Either way, one or the other, it's gray. Fasten your lab belts and let's prepare them. Take flight. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Just giving you a shot of that size tag so you can see how they coming for all my peoples out here looking to purchase and whatnot. It's a size 14, so you already know it's a PP. The Air Trainer 1 CJ, a.k.a. Cactus Jack, on deck, man. Um, traditional uh, Nike box, but just they incorporated the Cactus Corporation branding all over it, Cactus Corporation, Nike. Cactus Corporation on the top. I love the touch that they put on the box, man. I thought that was pretty cool, if, if I'm being honest. You also have the little Travis Scott branding. The same box that the um, Air Max Ones came in. If you haven't seen my review on that, you can go check it out, man. That shoe was crazy, but those were the two shoes that I got. I got these and I got the, um, the Air Max Ones. So, you know, they come with a couple of different papers in here. You got the Cactus Court paper. You also got the white tissue paper in the joint. Uh, coming around, you got quality controls all in the, all in there and all of that. So, it is what it is. Uh, that's enough of the box. Let's get to the shoe. Uh, I went and cop these from GOAT, man. I paid, uh, I paid resale for them. Resale wasn't that bad, though. So, I just went ahead and, um, Paid. I paid more than what they're going for right now though, but I ain't really tripping. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I like something. Price is reasonable. I'll go get it. But I did not pay over $50 over retail with the shipping and fees and all of that included. So that's right up my alley. Shout out to people who don't like trainers and don't want to be bothered with stuff that they don't really know nothing about. I appreciate y'all. I've been going on a trainer binge all year. So I got these. I'm going to probably reach back and grab that. Um, that wheat pair why do they call that pair wheat anyway it ain't nothing wheat about it but y'all know i also copped the whole um air trainer one pack the coriander's the honeydew and the uh dark smoke black or dark smoke gray whatever they were calling i got all those man you can check out them reviews too at your leisure but uh let me know how you guys feel about the shoe man did y'all like these will you sleep like the rest of the world not interested let me know these shoes come with these hideous Hideous covers. One cover, another cover, and I instantly took that cover off. I have absolutely no use for this. I'm not walking around hospitals. I'm not worried about nothing spilling on my shoes. I don't need booties or none of that. But it may be a decent idea if you're in rain or something like that. You just need some upper coverage. <laughs> you can you can put these on. If not, it what it is, bro. Whatever. I ain't wearing them though. Uh, they also had instructions for the slow folks. Y'all can check that out. If you ain't too bright, wondering how to put that back on, they told you. And they even went as far as to put it on both of them. So, bam. Now, as far as me and my opinion, man, I wanted this shoe from the moment I saw it. I didn't even look at the pictures really hard. I was like, yep, that's a colorway that I don't have. Colors that I don't really have in the collection. That's basically what I'm looking for at this point in my life. Something that's gonna stand out and add some color diversity to um, the fire that I <laughs> that I already have. You know what I mean? And this this was it. I was like, yeah, I'm all I'm all in on this. No matter what, I'm gonna have this shoe. So I went and attained it. Then it showed up, and I take the cover off, and I'm like, yo, the upper corduroy. I didn't know that. I thought it was a leather shoe. I didn't look at no materials. 
I didn't look at nothing. I just saw the shoe. I didn't zoom in, none of that. I'm like, yeah, I want it. And then I started looking at it, and I was like, man, it's corduroy. <laughs> but either way, man, I'm not tripping. But to get into the review, man, the whole, pretty much the whole upper is corduroy. This pattern, this whole section is corduroy. You can see the stitched um, Nike swoosh. Not a physical Nike swoosh here. It's just stitched in. Toe cap is corduroy as well uh flipping around to that medial it's a uh, corduroy all in there too you do have a actual physical uh swoosh here uh, around your toe box you've got this little it's like a mesh material i can't i can't really call exactly what that is but this whole gray carbon fiber ballistic pattern looking joint that they got going on here which also wraps around your medial to your heel as well on the other side you have some more corduroy in <laughs> that peach color coming in to to accent your strap with that green hit that's what really did it for me man that green bro that's that's beautiful y'all know my favorite color is green so it is what it is then you got the peach and uh green laces i wish they were 3m but the lace is not 3m um you've got a this is like a suede material tongue it looks mesh but and you also have that Cactus Corporation logo in green. Like I said, I love the Cactus Corporation. You've also got the little fasteners uh, for the shield that goes on the shoe, which actually adds a lot of bit of character. Not a little bit, a lot of bit of character. Your actual strap, people you can unstrap it and adjust. If you're into that, you know, you want to tighten down or whatever. Also, your tongue stayed uh, true with your uh, stash spot in here. Please, people, don't be stashing stuff in your shoes, man. Somebody jack you for your shoes, you done lost your whole stash. Keep that in mind. The perfect place to stash stuff is in your butt. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. I'm just, I'm just clowning. Uh, flipping around to the heel of the shoe, you've got that same textured around the back, Cactus Corporation here. You do have a zipper back here unzips but you ain't really getting nothing back there that's just you know for decoration they wanted to put a zipper somewhere and it's not the most friendly zipper in the world either it just it just gave me a run for my money still giving me a run for my money dang i might have lost a couple dollars on this one jesus what's going on all right we're gonna leave that one like that and get back to it later because i ain't got all this time to waste the interior is like this grayish bluish color. I guess that's why they call it the gray haze, but it's more like a very, very, very light blue, in my opinion. Uh, green Nike branding. Then you have that uh, midsole, which is pretty much the same color, gray haze or whatnot. Flipping up to that outsole. Now this is weird. It's like a bunch of those little, uh, it's like a, just like a bunch of little squares with some Nike branding. <laughs> like that's all it is to it man I thought that was kind of strange but it is what it is man flipping around to your other shoe the exact same way no differences no changes the only thing different is that this one has the cactus jack symbol in it and that's about it everything else is exactly exactly the same on the shoe um, they put your size tag and all that here in the back you're gonna be on the sneaker YouTube, man. Tell them people show their size tags when they can. I might have to take a picture of that and put it in because that's kind of tough, but you know, either way. Solid shoe, man. I'm extremely happy to have it. As far as sizing, man, I went true to size on these and it worked out fine for me. You can go a half size up if you wanted to and still be okay, but uh, true to size is fine. No, definitely don't size down. Whatever you do, do not size down. Um, comfort, I give the comfort probably like a B on these, equivalent to any of the other trainers. They're not uncomfortable sneakers. They have the Nike Air technology, so it's, it's comfortable and more than some of the other sneakers that I've owned or currently own. In my collection but um yeah that's pretty much it y'all know we own footed it because i own foot everything i'm not a reseller i'm not a hype beast i wear all my shoes bro tis what it is appreciate you guys coming through and watching don't forget to leave your opinion how you felt did you cop didn't cop all that good stuff and until the next time i upload a video bro i'll see you then <laughs>